Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at a million dollar motorhome. This one is the best of the best until you get to that Newell Prevost price tag. This is a 2022 Four Travel Realm model LV3. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again, I am super excited to be showing you this beautiful million dollar motorhome. Very exciting to bring this to you today. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hey everybody! How's it going today? It's going good, you guys. We are here in Orlando at RV1 and I am super excited. I have not seen a four travel. Yes. So I am really excited, you guys, and also, we have a guest. Burr, 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 burr. Who are you? Terry Myers with Orlando RV. Yeah, she is the four travel specialist. And if you guys are in the market for a four travel, you were you're the one who works at the uh Tampa RV show for travel display. That's correct. So it's safe to say you know a thing or two about this. Maybe just a little bit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Enough to get us all in trouble though. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> well, Terry, let's begin. And this is gonna be Terry and mine's first time doing a video together. So there might be some mistakes. <laughs> but the facts are all gonna be there. So Terry, let's begin right up front. Model is LV3. What's the actual tip tip length of this motorhome? 45 feet. Okay, and what type of chassis? I understand this isn't built on a Spartan K3 chassis, which is top of the line. Right, this is a K4 chassis. This takes it one step above that K3, a whole different level. The reason that it changes and what's different is, K3 is a great chassis. They use it on a ton of motorhomes. Yes. Right? You've, you've talked about it a ton in your videos. Yep. But this K4 goes from a two, from a C channel, which is kind of rounded, right? If I think about a C, to a tubular steel. Okay. So now I've got more structure underneath that coach because I've got more coach. Got now it. Now I've got steel studs in the wall, so I need a little more structure underneath that. When I talk about a K3 chassis, they all come in with a camber. So they're, what manufacturers have to do, other manufacturers out there, yep. they have to come in and level that chassis up to build a square box. You need a square chassis to build a square box. Does that make sense? Sure does. So with this, I come in perfectly square. I'm level from front to back. I'm zero cambered. The manufacturer, Ford Travel, doesn't have to do anything to that chassis to make it perfect to build a coach on. It comes in ready to build on. I love that. And, and, those, and this is some of the education that we're going to learn today. The difference between an $800,000 Cornerstone Integris top of the line to a $1.4 million Ford Travel. So right up front here, look at the headlight design. Now you guys might have seen Elijah and I do a video on the presidential. I didn't like the headlight design, Terry, and that's not a, a performance feature, but this is this? what I do like. It's mean, it's sleek, it's aggressive. Yeah, this chassis looks great. The whole front of this coach looks amazing. I love the way that they, they kind of sleek it out. Yes. It's slick looking, you've got chrome trim and it's accents like a on that. But don't miss, when you get caught looking at all of the neat stuff and how pretty it is, because it really is amazing, don't miss the collision mitigation and the adaptive cruise control because safety-wise, this coach tops them all. So, so, collision mitigation, is this motorhome gonna stop you? Yes, it's gonna wow. help you stop. It's gonna yeah. help you stop, obviously, you know. We use mitigation instead of avoidance, because, right, you know. Right, <laughs> but, but there is different levels of collision mitigation, right? No, collision mitigation is collision mitigation. If you're driving a Mercedes or you're driving a really nice car, you've got that on your car. Uh, Toyotas come with it nowadays, it. so okay. you want that on your coach. It's important. Perfect. Uh, that's the uh, mobile eye right mobile there. Eye. You got the cameras right there, 360, 360 view. And right here we got chrome mirrors on both sides with the cameras integrated in the chrome. And then really quick, diesel pusher obviously. What type of generators right there? Onan 12.5 generator on board this coach. Perfect. It's gonna be standard on all of your four travels. Perfect. Now let me go inside the motorhome. Oh no, I can't go inside. Oh wait, let me help Matt. Oh, look at that, push button. And talk about these steps here. Those steps are amazing. Those are called executive steps. Yes. You know how when you walk into some coaches, people kind of bounce and you feel like, oh my God, I can't get in. This coach, I can jump up and down on these steps. They're not going anywhere. Terry, let the expert do that, all right? <laughs> you do that, man. Wait, Terry, you're not lying. These steps. They don't give. They don't go anywhere. They don't move. I love that, man. They are the executive steps. We're actually not going to go in right now. But the executive steps, I love this because when we lock this coach, look at how the step. Super fun. 
Super clean, super nice. Love that. Hey, look, look, look at these tires, Terry. <laughs> Little Michelins. I love those. They're the 365-70 R22.5 with the shiny Alcoa Durbright rims. Right. 365 tires on the front of this coach. 20,000 pound axles on the front of this coach. A beast. This yes. This coach is a beast in the front. Talk about uh, fuel. It's going to be 150 gallons. 200 gallons, Matt. 200. 200 gallons. That's why we got the expert here. And then tell us about this slide system here. Oh my gosh, I love this slide. You won't see anything like this until you hit a $2 million rule. You'll okay. hear other manufacturers talk about the fact that their slides are flush mounted. This is a true flush mount slide. When the slide is in, it's in. You won't see any gaskets around it. You don't see any flanges around it. You have a airbag that deflates and inflates around that slide when it goes in and out. The other big thing here is the insulation behind the walls. You're using a closed cell PVC foam in these walls. It is super quiet. You've got steel studs in this wall, aluminum studs in the slides for weight, but steel studs in the walls of the coach. I mean, the way that they put this together is unlike any other. And you cannot talk about the walls unless you talk about the paint job. Talk to me. The paint job on this coach, you don't feel any lines. Yes. This paint, this coach spends almost two months in a paint booth. When yes. they get done building it, then it goes to a paint booth and it stays there for almost two months. You have, it's smooth. You don't feel any paint lines in that. When you get back here and you start to see some of the marbling and the fading in that paint, uh -huh. it's phenomenal. You've got seven coats of clear on this. So it's cut and buffed over seven times when they're putting this thing together. Terry, I'm not going to lie. You're going to need to take it down a notch because you're out shining me right now. <laughs> and we must not forget this is Matt's RV. Oh, no. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Normally, I have to tell my guest, I'm normally like cutting at this point, saying, hey, get the energy up. Get the Terry, you're killing it. Sorry. No, you're doing great. I'm just messing with you. So right here, we do have a Norcold freezer. Is that electric or manual? Electric. Oh, the slide tray is going to be manual. Okay. Check this out, very nice. I really like this. Um, Andre and I were getting one of these for our motorhomes. The reason why was somebody would want this. Uh, our dog eats raw food, and so to have it fresh in a freezer, it's really, really nice. Or if you're a drinker, you can put beer there. Or red wine, because it'll go up to 55 degrees. Perfect. Right here, these cargo trays, they are electric, correct? They are. Power in and out on both sides. Perfect. Nice. Oh. This one's doing the same exact thing. Thousand pound trays. Yep. Very nice. And then what's also nice about these trays is you can access them on both sides. And then uh, Terry, can you tell us a little bit about the awnings? Sure. These are going to be full length awnings. You're going to have two of them. You're also going to have awning or slide toppers over all of your slides. And then you're going to have an additional awning over the door. So you're not having to get out from underneath the door to get underneath an awning. You're going to come right out of your coach, be underneath an awning. And then I love those awnings. They run the full length. They are no arms. You don't have anything obstructing the side of your coach. It's not, it just looks better. Look at this paint job, Andrea. You zoom in here, just like the details there. That's crazy. It's a very good looking paint job. Yeah. Right here, we do got the Samsung TV on the outside with a sound bar. Oh no! Terry, maybe you can get that close. <laughs> it's going to take more than me for that one. You need a tall friend at the campground <laughs> if you want to watch TV. Right over here, we got a little bit more storage. Dirt Devil centralized vacuum. There's your awning controls, water purifier system, some other stuff that we'll see on the other side. And then Terry, can you tell us a little bit about what we got going on here? Sure, this is great. I'll tell you this, when you saw, you saw the two water filter systems in there, yes. one of the things, the philosophy of four travel is two is one and one is none. So everything is built in with a redundancy built into the coach. So it makes a difference in how you have a backup plan, right? You right. always need a backup plan. It's, it, it is an RV, right? Yep. So this is a water manifold system. Let's say you're out at the campground, Matt. You have a small leak at the kitchen counter. You put something underneath there. You knock the line. You got something loose. You did something. You you did it, though, Oh, right? man. Right, you did it, Andrew. <laughs> so this will let me go in and just shut off that one system. Okay. Like, I'm not having to stop a camping trip, go find an RV repair facility, call an RV repair tech. I can shut that one line off, keep camping. Nice. So I don't have any issues. Nice. Tag axle here, steerable tag. Passive steer tag. 60 degrees. 17 degrees on this wheel cut on okay. this. That is new on the K4 Why was K4 I thinking 60? Because some manufacturers will talk about a 60 degree wheel cut on a front tire, uh, but that's on a small tire. You need to remember that's on a 275 tire, not a 365 tire. There you go. Get educated. It's be 55 degrees okay. every time. Okay. Doesn't change because of the size of the tire, and that's part of the Spartan chassis. Yes. 
So 17 degrees in addition. Right. So what that makes this feel like is when you're doing a U-turn at my red light out here, yep. I can do a U-turn in a 45-foot coach, never get in the grass. It feels like I'm driving sideways. And trust me, if you ever been to RV1 of Orlando, that red light... You're going to need that U-turn. That's tough in my pickup truck. <laughs> Right over here, we got some of the batteries. Okay, anything special here? This is a neat area. The great thing about Spartan is everything is always in the same spot on the Spartan chassis. No right? I don't have to go, where did they put those crank batteries at? These are my crank batteries. So they're got always it. gonna be right here. Water fuel filter separator, air dryer, everything is right there. 15 gallons of depth, dual fills on my depth on this coach. I love it. I love it. Now coming on around the back, we do have no ladder to get up on the roof. One piece fiberglass roof? It's not a fiberglass roof. Oh, what are they using? They use a different material. It's because it's not a rubber or anything like that. It is a manufactured material. But you... Do you know the name of it? I forget the name of it. Doesn't just... matter. <laughs> Terry, Terry, listen. We don't know the name of the roof. Listen. It's I'll, on a... I'll find out before the end of this. It's on a million dollar motorhome. It doesn't matter the name of the roof. Uh, but no, I mean... Really nice three AC units, and trust me, I, I can say this for sure. If Four Travels putting it on their roof, that means they're doing good. I mean, they're doing stuff that everybody else isn't doing. The Realm 605 Cummins engine. Did we go over the engine? No, we did power? not. Talk to us about that. 605 horsepower Cummins diesel, 1,950 foot pounds of torque on that motor. I've yes. got 20,000 pounds of towing capability. True 20,000. True yes. 20,000. I can also put in a. Um, I've also got like, the Air Force One is already yep. built into the chassis. I don't have to add that to this thing. Yep. Yep. And back here, you have to open this mat because we talked about safety a little bit. No, let me show you. There's a quick there's a little handle. There you go. Grab that. You got to talk about the fire suppression system. Oop, I'm going to get out of Andrea's way and let her come over there. Up, oh, and you come over here and tell us what we got going on. We're kind of tight up against this fence. Yes. About that. So this is an amazing piece of equipment, this fire suppression system. If there's a fire on this coach, chances are it's going to be in the engine compartment because you don't have any propane or anything like that on board. Right. So it's going to happen back here. So 400 degrees, this tube is going to burn through. Okay. It's going to set off a fogger in here. That's got a cooling agent built into it and a suppression system. So, and water. So what happens is it lasts a long time. It takes, because that way it keeps it from firing back up or from a spark coming back up and it puts out a fire in this engine, reduces your damage. This is being used, um, I think I read 9,700 different applications around the world. Wow. So a ton of applications. I love that. it. Especially on a motorhome this price level, you absolutely need that. I love the tail light design and everything. So right over here is your side mount radiator in your emergency egress door. Built in ladder into that door as well, so it makes it easier not having to actually like jump. Up. Perfect, perfect. This? Fuel fill. Okay. 200 gallons. Got I'm sorry. Up. Uh-oh. Death fill. I knew that. I death tank. Let me tell you something. Dual death fills. You were so confident in this presentation. <laughs> I knew that was death, but I just went along with it just because you're confident. It's like poker. Don't. Like you might not have the best hand, but I believe you have the best hand. Perfect. Over here. So I love this compartment. It's super clean. It's super easy. There's nothing complicated about dumping poop, right? It's the worst job that you get with an RV, but we all have to do it. So I can tell what my tank levels are right here. This, this screen will come up. I'm gonna have electric valves for my, for my uh, black and my gray tank. So these are easy to open up. One of the differences, this is a 22. So my hookup is right on the bottom. If you wanted a macerator built into this, okay. there's room for it. I can put it in. Got it. But you do have electric valves, which is nice. So you can open and close the valves without pulling handles and all that kind of gross stuff. Just like, space it. You don't make Andrea do this stuff. Do no, 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 no. And it, is there a potable water fill? Uh, on the other side. Potable. 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 Yes, there you go. <laughs> and then what do we got going on over here? Aqua Hot 450D. I yes. love the Aqua Hot. This lets you heat the coach, heat the water, unlimited supply of hot water. I can take a 30 minute shower. You can take a 30 minute shower. Yes. Whatever you need to do. Also, it keeps the heat from being super dry in there. If you've been in a motorhome that had propane before, supercharges that air, gets it really, really hot, turns it off, lets it get cold, and kicks it back on. So then my skin's dry, my sinuses are messed up. It's a whole mess. Yep, and that's the hydronic heating system. Right. Also, I see we got a, a power transfer switch. Power transfer switch. A 50 amp power cord on electric reel. And that is your water core. On an electric reel. On, that's an electric reel yes, as well? absolutely. Heck yeah. I love it. What else are we missing right here? You were missing the HWH, the hydraulics. Talk to me. Because my slides are going to be hydraulic on this coach. My jacks are going to be hydraulic. In addition to hydraulic jacks, I've also got air level on this jack. Okay. So I've got two ways to level up. 
Perfect. We'll talk more about the air level when you're in the driver's seat. Over here, this is just the other side of the storage. And then talk, look at these batteries. Wow, talk about a battery bank. That's a battery bank. So those are called 6D batteries. So okay. six of those, and you're getting about 800 to 1,000 amp hours out of those batteries. Okay. They are not a glass mat battery. They are a gel battery. Okay, so what's that mean to America? No maintenance. Okay. The only thing that I care about is do I have to work on it? Got it. Or check the water in it. The answer is no. You don't have to do any of those things. So, Good. But they're huge. It looks like you've got a bunch, but this is a single battery. Wow. Single batteries. So there's six of them. Very what nice. you'll see on the next generation okay. is going to be eight of these. Wow. Because okay. we're going to move that hose down here. Perfect. And if you guys want to know the specs and all the information about this one, bing, we'll insert all the specs right here for everybody to see. And then we only got one more compartment. Just a little compartment. Pay attention though, because this compartment is super important and the way that Spartan does their wiring and the way that Four Travel does their wiring is super important. Talk to me. Your wiring is stamped, wiring harnesses. You've got a couple of miles of wire in this coach. Sure, sure. So with that, I don't know what goes where. Right. Right, and if I'm a technician, I don't know what wire goes where. With Four Travel, it's stamped and burned every six to 12 inches. Okay. So I know what that wire is. Good. With Spartan, I'm stamped and burned every 12 inches. So I know what that wire is. I can trace that wire back and figure it out. My wiring harnesses are starting here. I stay out of this compartment. I don't need to do anything here. Right. It's so, a, so you're saying that's definitely gonna help somebody troubleshoot and save the $200 uh, service hour. This is gonna be my controls for my generator slide. Yep. Right, so the power gonna put it in and out. Yes, perfect. Well, Terry, the outside of the Ford Travel looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Go you, gotta, you gotta skip with me though. <laughs> <laughs> I had to quit skipping, Matt. That's oh, it. <laughs> All right, come on in, Andrea. She's gonna walk all the way through and then we'll take a quick break. All right, everybody, look at this. Wow, slide is in, plenty of walk space. Look at this. You can definitely open the fridge. Coming through, we have a half bath there. And then here is the master bedroom, which looks like we can still use the bed with the slide in very very pretty great and before we get the slide outs we're actually gonna put the slide outs out together because there's something very unique and cool about this but first let's give a big shout out to the sponsor rv life matt's rv reviews is proudly sponsored by rv life tools that make camping simple Everybody knows when it comes to camping, it can be a little stressful, but not with RV Life. So first, discover, research campgrounds and other locations of interest with detailed information, but for RVers. Plan your trip accordingly with the popular Trip Planner. That software is amazing. It's gonna tell you the best routes and you can go with your RV safe GPS. Not only are you typing in your specifications so it knows not to take you under any low bridges, but you can actually use that offline. So so if you're at a place with no Wi-Fi, you'll still have your GPS and you can share it with their RV community, guys. RV Life is more than just an app. It's an awesome program that all RVers should have. What we're doing is a free seven day trial for Matt's RV Reviews customers and 25% off on top of that. So all you do is go to their website, rvlife.com, sign up for the free seven day trial by clicking our link down below or typing in Matt's RV Reviews. Don't download the app because you, then you won't get the free seven days. So do it on the website, register Matt's RV Reviews, then download the app. We appreciate RV Life for sponsoring this video and sponsoring Matt's RV Reviews. Let's continue the video. So what's happening right now, Andrea's pushing the button and the slide out's coming out. Notice how there's that on the slide I'll show you in a second. But Terry, tell us what's going on with the floor right now. This floor is amazing. So when this floor is in, it's truly flush. When it goes out, it's going to be truly flush. Every other coach out there until you get to those $2 million coaches, look how this floor is going to come up, Matt. Look at that. So that means that when you're walking down through here or your dogs are walking down through here while you're driving, they're not stubbing their toes. This lets me get a true flush floor slide in and out. Amazing. It is amazing. I and love then, the way they do this. And then tell us a little bit about the airbags. So there's a compressor for the airbag. When you turn that motor on and when you flip the switch there, you'll see it wait to get the, uh, the light to come on before you start moving that out to go solid. And what happens is there's an airbag that deflates around that slide room. And then when you get it all the way out, it's gonna reinflate. 
Got so it. that keeps you from having to do those little ugly gaskets and seals and all that nonsense around those slides that stick out and look bad. So give that just a second and then it should it should uh it should go to a solid color oh and then once it goes to that solid color that means the airbags have deflated oh so and right now they're deflating yep if you're listening really deflate gate <laughs> deflate gate oh there you go <laughs> now hit that button to extend extend oh there you go there's a reason why you're the seller terry <laughs> and i'm just the video guy <laughs> you do a much better video than i do matt <laughs> no I... <laughs> you're kicking butt and taking names and we really do appreciate it so look at the slide so notice how the black part is like it, it's keeping the outside of the slide from being inside the coach right and when we open this you can actually see that the side of the slide was painted so it matches everything and then what do you want to tell us about this matt not only is the slide painted on the end, it's painted underneath. Talk to me. Nobody paints a slide underneath the Wow. Coach. Nobody. Wow. And then and then the curvature of the design, like when we compare it to that. Oh, so this is all smoothed out. Yes. You've got several hundred hours worth of man man hour labor into making this slide this way to smooth that out and to put these edges on that. We don't have any sharp corners. Right. I'm able to go in and out every single time. Right. I love it. Steel studs in these walls, aluminum studs in these walls for weight purposes. All right, so coming back into the motorhome, I want to point out the beautiful tile steps. Hey, ladies! Hey! hey whoa, whoa, if you both are sitting up there, where am I supposed to ride? Back there. In, in the back. Andrea, <laughs> how does the passenger seat feel? It's very comfortable, everybody. Look at this. Um, I, yeah, I was going to point that out about the nail head here. Yep. Also, this does re... Uh, when you swivel it, it does recline. Okay. Which is nice. And we have a step cover here, Matt. Yes. If you oh. want to watch out. See if I can get it to come. It's probably not going to come out. You're going to need air. And it probably has right. Oh, okay. Never mind. We won't do the step cover. Yep. But everybody knows most diesel pushers have a step cover here, so that way when we're driving, you know, you know, I'm not going anywhere. Right. And you got a little yes, camera. Yes, I can. To be a backseat yes. driver. That's definitely me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and a cup holder the there. Cup holder, and we have electric shades, daytime and nighttime. Perfect. Terry, start her up. 95 South. Let's go. Listen Andrea, to that. If you, get, if you get uncomfortable, you've got heat and, <gasps> air, and air in that seat. Wow. So you can definitely be comfortable. You've got the footrest. You oh, I would be feet. taking a nap if we were going somewhere. Andrea, play with those seats because you got a lot of buttons and options oh my there. Oh, good. Oh, that'll take that one out. Oh, good. That can oh, move wow. up a little bit. And then I can go back. Oh, Whoa. yeah, do that. Do that all the way. Andrea, just kick back and relax. Oh, yeah. You don't have to tell me to. Yeah, heated seats, cool <laughs> seats. And then that'll extend because you're a little bit longer legged than yeah, that and I are. Yeah, this is nice. <laughs> right. Wow. So, Terry, what do we got going on up here in this part? So, the great thing about this is that the steering wheel is power. Power. Tilt wow. up and down. I can telescope it in and out because, again, I am of the vertically challenged variety and I have to move stuff around to make it work for me. But on this dash, everything is right here okay. i can kind of control everything on this dash i can move there's my tire pressure monitoring system yes. it's going to tell me what my tire pressure is it's also going to tell me what my temperature on my tires are yeah which is important right i don't need to just know what the what the tire pressure is i need to know what the temp is suspension and leveling i can go into this i can auto level i can low ride or high ride if i'm going to pull into a building yep. i can put this on a low ride to gain myself an inch or two okay just to get into that building so nice that's super helpful if i'm going to I love this part and it gets a little more in depth, but I can go in here and manually adjust every corner of this coach. Okay. I can, if I like sleeping with my head up, I want to raise one side of the coach for the night, I can do that. Wow. I can raise the whole side of the coach from right there. It's going to tell me that I need to put fuel in here because I haven't done that yet. Yeah, low fuel. Or, bright, well, while we're waiting for a buyer to bright, fill her up. I'm going to brighten this up so ah, you can see that a little nice. bit better. Yes. So it was driven at night probably. So, But all of my gauges are here. I can see what my def is, what my fuel is. Everything is controlled on this dash. I'm also going to know that right now I'm in park or I'm in neutral and I've got the park brake set. So I don't have any collision mitigation system or anything like that. Got it. Okay. I've got all three cameras visible here. I yes. can see all the way. I can see the back of my coach. I can see all the way around my coach. And then that rear camera is like a surveillance camera where you can control it and look around, correct? Correct. Correct. Yep. I can bring that up. Uh, right there is your radio, everything that you need, the transmission, your auto leveling's right here. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice. Burr, burr, burr. Guys, Terry got the call to duty. So uh, thank you so much. Listen, you covered the, the parts that we don't know. We can handle the rest. 
What do you want to say to America before Matt, you go? First of all, thank you so much for letting me join in this. What a great time. Yes. This has been a ton of fun for me. Yes. So I, I definitely appreciate it. This coach is phenomenal. If you are looking for a luxury high-end diesel motorhome, this is it. It does not get any better. And if you are looking for a Integra, Aspire, Anthem, Cornerstone, or a Four Travel, and you want to work with Terry directly here at RV1 of Orlando, how do people get a hold of you directly? My cell phone, I can give you my cell phone. Don't give, hey, I'm not buying it for <laughs> travel. Matt, we need to talk, no. Yeah. My cell phone, you can always reach me on that. It's 251-605-9116. And yes, that 251 does indicate that I am from South Alabama. That's why I talk funny. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. Eagle. War Eagle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you so thank much. You, and Terry. again, Terry works here at the RV1 in Orlando. Thanks so much, Matt. Thank Thanks, you. Andrea. Nice to meet you. You too, bye-bye. That's one thing that's about being at the dealership. We have guests sometimes and then they have customers and the customer always comes first. That's right. Okay. Well, Matt, we do have some storage up here real quick. Yes, ma'am. Show that for us. So let's show this. We got the wine guard there. Yes. Hydraulic extension. Oh, that's the slide stuff. Yes. And then there is some storage up here. Okay, Perfect. so that's good. And then Andrea, check out these balances. What do you think? I love them. Andrea approved. approved. Yes. Now, here's the one thing about these balances, Andrea. They do have power daytime shades. They also have power privacy shades, just like that. That is throughout the whole motorhome. Yes. We do have really nice cabinetry all the way above. And then even look at this. Look at how they angled the cabinetries, but the cabinets still aren't hitting each other, which is very nice. Andre, so many times they'll do this, but then you can't have both of them open at the same time. And then check out this sofa. We got an L shape. What's it called? Yeah, L shaped sofa. It's the Villa International. I really like these sofas because they give you that extra seating. Yes. Very pretty. I like the two tone color. You've got two ottomans here that also come with it. And there's some storage in these ottomans. And you can also flip that around and kind of use that as like a little uh, place oh. to put drinks, like a little table, coffee table. Yes, where you can play Yahtzee in it. Oh, look at Matt decorating. Look at that, very nice. And then what's really nice, the sofa is very comfortable. Two-tone co colors and what you call those pinheads or um, something like that? Nail head. Nail heads, very nice. And then directly across, Andrea, is the TV Entertainment Center. Samsung TV look at this i love the way it looks i love the color scheme in here um this is like i think it's called excalibur the color like so with four travel you have six different color choices and this was definitely my favorite i love everything how it looks i love the big fireplace tv right there oh oh man oh, wow. that's a safe that's cool. For all your money. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. And I didn't I, even know there was a I really there. do. You're right. That fireplace is really cute. Yeah. Because it kind of makes it feel more like home. And you can actually, you know, put things on it. Yeah, for sure. Nice. For sure. And then over here, Andrea, uh, let's take a look at this top storage here. Very nice. Good storage. Dinette. Now Look there is a leaf that goes into that table mat, so it does extend. Okay. And there's two more chairs that come with this. Very nice, very nice. I, I do want to point out real quick. Show us. I just want to say something about the slide. Okay. Like I like that it's not, even though this is all dark interior in here. Yes. This gives it a really good contrast. Yes. Because it's not all dark like it normally would be. I like they did this light color. It's 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 a very cool pattern. Yes. And also we do have storage under here real quick. You want to show this, Matt? Yes. So we got some shelves in there. Adjustable. Oh. And then more on this side. Very nice. And also I do want to point out, uh, really I like this. All the LED lights mm. that are everywhere. Beautiful. Even on the floor. Now Andrea, before you show us the kitchen, I do want to take a quick moment to remind everybody we are now part of RV Retailer which is a nationwide network of RV dealerships. So it doesn't matter where you live in America, if you're interested in this for travel or any for travel, go to mattsrvreviews.com, fill out the contact tab. We will hook you up with the closest RV retailer to you that sells for travel. Or again, if you do want to work with Terry, you can send me an email, matt at mattsrvreviews.com 
or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. I can hook you up with Terry or call her cell phone if you don't have a problem coming to the RV1 of Orlando. You know what I'm saying? She's great. She's best guest we've ever had on the show. Absolutely. And um, and if I was buying a Ford Travel, I would, I would go to I, Terry. Hey, <laughs> Matt who? I wouldn't call Matt. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to start over here, Matt. Okay. Look at this kitchen. Beautiful. Very, very nice. Lots of counter space. We've got some... Oh, look at this. Gee. Wow. Okay, guys. Look at this. Look at the counter over here. So beautiful solid surface countertop. Yes, ma'am. We've got electrical outlets everywhere. Yes, ma'am. we got the convection microwave right here. Bosh. And then here you have a two burner induction cooktop. Wow. Look at that induction heating. I mean, in that in that countertop totally blends in. It does. And then right here we have a peninsula. Not is it a peninsula? Yeah. It's been a while, Matt. Pull it out. I'm looking to see if there's a button. There it is. That's there a pull go. out peninsula. Look at that, and we have uh, three drawers. Very nice. Okay, so that's nice. Is that soft close? Yeah, soft close. And then what do we got right here? That's a dishwasher. Oh, wow. Fisher Pickell. That's awesome. We got a drawer here. I really, really like the LED lights underneath. Yes. We've got another cabinet up here. With Very a shelf. nice. And then here is your sink here. Nice mm -mm -mm. size sink. Yes, ma'am. And then we got um, the extension here. There's your lights. These are heavy, huh? All right. Under here. Oh, they give you a trash can. Hey, that's a $386 <laughs> trash can. Really? Welcome to 4 Travel. Yes. And then what's this? Is it just, just a panel? Just panel. Yeah. Okay. But, um, all right. So over here, Matt. Is How do you the... like that uh, side splash there? This? It's very Art Deco. Um, no. Oh. <laughs> One day, Matt. Look at this. A Bosch residential refrigerator. Yes. Very nice. Look at sure that. Is. It, it's cold already. Jeez. Got a nice ice maker here, water purifier. Oh, mm. look at this pantry. Say it ain't so, Andrea. Oh my, it ain't so. It ain't. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Very nice. And then, um, yeah. Oh, One wait. more pantry. What's this? One more. Oh, this is for linens, I guess. Yes, ma'am. Adjustable shelf. Yes. And you got your, uh, I guess, what is that? Sound systems and stuff? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Matt, let's check out the bathroom. Half bath here, toilet, affirmative app, affirmative right there. It's in a great uh, toilet placement right Just here. Yep, in yep, there. yep. Got a nice. Uh, I like how it's all tiled without that backsplash there. Okay, good storage right there. Yes, cute, not, cute nice tiny sink. little round little sink. Little delta action. What do we got right here? Hold on. Are these actually storage? Nope. Okay. One point four million. <laughs> this is a prime poop position. Bing! Thank you guys. Why did I thank you? I don't know. That was weird. Maybe you're just happy that it's a prime poop position. Right. That light fixture right there, you guys. And then also right here, you guys. Here is your um your, your panel, not your panel your access there you can tell what's in all the tanks yes and then look and at then, this um, another cabinet or i don't know if this is oh your thermostat and all look that look at this oh tv's on a televator i push the button it's going down i got the privacy blinds growing up we got nice storage storage. Over underneath storage i love the balances in here storage very underneath cute here. yes 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 look at all those drawers oh my goodness very nice very nice drawers. Is that for show? Yep. But look at that, you guys. It's very cute. Even these angled drawers, you know what I'm saying? Very nice. And then right over here, Andrea, king size bed. What's super important about it is what Andrea said when we first entered. The bed does not have to be up to get the slide outs in. Right over here, we do got a little bit of storage right there. Nice little uh, a heart ashtray or whatever right by the side of your bed. I don't know. That's not an ashtray. That's not an ashtray. Just That's a piece like of a, artwork. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lily pad of power there. And then very nice storage here. And 
storage here. Oh man, Andre, you feel that bed? I do. That's a comfortable bed. And it does have USBs over there that I can see. Oh, with the different pads. balances. What do you think? I, I said I liked them a lot. Mm. I loved them. Nice uh, headboard design. I mean, it's almost like taking it for granted because you knew this motorhome would be absolutely beautiful. And then that's the lights up here, everybody. Come. Right over here, we do have a sliding door. Uh, Master bathroom here. Oh, look at that. That's wow. a pretty design. Yeah, come in here. Check out this storage. Oh my goodness. That is huge cedar. Wow. Cedar lined closet there. Look at this. You got these drawers here. So those drawers are for me and then everything else <laughs> is for you. Yes. Very pretty. Wow. Matt, you also have more storage right here for linens. Very nice. Very, very nice. Adjustable shelves too. Yes. Very nice shower. I'm going in. Oh, very nice. Very big, very spacious, very nice. We got these multiple shower heads. And then Andrea, do you know what this is? What? So the water heater, um, you don't need to waste water and wait for it to heat up. This heats it up before there's water coming out so it's circulating and heating. And then when the water is hot, it'll change colors and then you push that and that, and that way you're nice. not, you're conserving water. So look at that. It's like you're getting a little uh, shower in the rainforest, yep. huh? Yep, for sure. And then over here, show the, this uh, setup, great sink area oh, for you. Okay, so we here we have double vanities, very pretty. I like that they continued the backsplash. Yes. We also have a little bit more um, counter space here. For sure. Medicine cabinet. Okay. Double okay. Yep, very pretty. Mm -hmm. And then you have this here. Then love, look at this. Oh my god. Love all the LED lights. Both sides have storage. And then you have three drawers. I mean, this is what your bathroom would look like for sure. <laughs> yeah. And then right here we got the Bosch, Bosch stackable washer nice. dryer. So they're doing Bosch everything for the appliances, which is cool. Again, we don't care if it's Bosch or Whirlpool or Samsung. We like that brand consistency. Then Andrea. This is also a prime poop position. Ding! Very nice. Not surprised. Well, Andrea, as nice as it is, people are dying to know what the MSRP is. Because, guys, it's over a million. I'm telling you that. But before we get to the MSRP, it's time we give everybody three things we love about this motorhome, three things we don't like about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Uh, we're going to have to do three things we dislike about it. I have two. I have one, and it's very little. Well, of course. They're all going to be little, Andrea. <laughs> I mean, it's a million dollar motorhome. First and foremost for me, I understand why they do this. It's to help dampen the noise, this carpet in here. I think it looks very tacky. Also so stuff doesn't break. And I get that, and I get the functionality of it. Cosmetically, I think this looks really tacky. I mean, look at it. It's tacky, it's cheap, it's fuzzy. I'm not okay. a fan of that. That is dislike number one. Andre, dislike number two? Okay, uh, I don't really have a lot to dislike. So the one thing I am going to say, you guys, and it is very little, is I don't like these mirrors here. I feel like that is tacky to me. Really? Um, it just, it, this motorhome is so elegant that I feel like these mirrors in this leather here yeah. is just tacky. Yeah. Sorry. Great point. No, I, I'm actually, that's my dislike. I'm actually really glad you pointed that out. So that's number two. And then I'll try it. Number three, I will say this. This also a small dislike. The slide system takes forever for it to come out. Um, it's a really complicated side system. I was messing around with this for 15 minutes before we even started shooting. And it's not the simplest slide system. So that's three things we don't like about it. But Andrea, now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. Can I go first? Sure. I do love the slide system. Again, <laughs> as complicated as it is, it is complicated. The fact that it's that airbag seal and everything, and it comes out and dips down, super, super nice, super luxury, super quality. I love how they painted the slides, the rounded corners, everything about that I love. Okay. That is number one. I love this layout, this floor plan. I love it. It seems very uh, sectioned off. Like you have your living area here, you have your kitchen area here. It's just, you know how sometimes when you go into an RV and it's kind of just all like literally right. one space? Yep. This really feels like I, I could definitely be in here full time. I have my separate living area. Mm. I feel like it's separate quarters. Yep. Same thing with the kitchen. They did a great job on this floor plan and I, I think it's fantastic. That's number two. 
And then Andre, do you have a number three? Uh, I would just say, honestly, all the extra uh, options or the details on this motorhome. For sure. Oh my gosh, fabulous. Yep. Just like the, the, what is that called? The, the mitigation? Yep. That, along with um, all the extra things that it has on here. I mean, it's just, For it sure. makes it like I got a, top, I'm gonna, top of the line. I'm gonna combo it with just talking about the bedroom, the master bedroom, the master bathroom. And kind of like what Andrea mentioned earlier with th this feels like a home. It you know does. What I'm saying? Speaking of home. Let's see if there are storage. I think, oh, definitely not. not. <laughs> well, Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time, time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this motorhome here. One million three hundred and fifty thousand. $320. Andrea, MSRP, sale price. Don't know the sale price. Here's what I do know. Terry Myers and her team were not selling them for $1.35 She was selling them to you for a lot less than that. So if you're interested in this motorhome, please call Terry Myers if you want to work with her at RV1 of Orlando or contact us, Matt's RV Reviews. Go to mattsrvreviews.com, send us an email, Fill out the contact tab and we will get you in contact with a four travel specialist close to you guys. Guys, it's a different product, it's a unique product. So we're only gonna put you in contact with the best people with the Terry Myers of the world. Even if you live in Texas or California, reach out to us because we have Terry Myers that works at every location. <laughs> and again, if you don't have a problem coming to RV1 of Orlando, give her a call directly. Make sure you tell her you saw her on Matt's RV reviews and together she'll call me let me know and we'll make sure that you get a phenomenal price on this andre is there anything you'd like to say yes hey everybody thank you so much for watching let us know the three things that you like about this rv and the three things that you dislike for travel we'll be reading the comments so we hope you guys leave your feedback thank you so much to terry of um rv of orlando here for doing this video with us um i hope you guys are safe and well thanks for watching thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and andrea We'll see you next time.